Today we're gonna to make a scarecrow for our harvest season. You're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, maybe a black marker or Sharpie to outline with, and some crayons or markers or paint to color with. So go ahead and grab your materials and come back with me. Okay, so for today's lesson, we're gonna have our scarecrow with his arms out and the field behind him. And we're gonna begin by taking our paper, it is horizontal, which is side to side, and we're gonna fold it in half. Opening it back up, this horizontal line, I'm putting my hand right in the middle, and I'm going to trace on the horizontal fold a line and leave about three fingers at the edge of the paper. This will be the scarecrow's hand, and this will be his arm. His head is in the middle. Repeat on the other side. Three fingers for his hand. Inside here, I'm going to make a U shape for my scarecrow's head. He's gonna be wearing a hat. So I'm just gonna make a curve right there for now. Going a little bit past the head or the U. And then let's get some of his facial details. So we're gonna have two eyes, a scarecrow nose, a smile of course, and then his cheeks and eyebrows. So his two eyes right here on the side I'm going to make a little line and start with an arch or a curve line. And my scarecrow is gonna be looking this way at the bird on his shoulder. So his eyes are curved to the side. There's gonna be the white, the color of his eyes, and his black pupil with a little circle of light. And I'll color this black in with my pencil just so you kind of know what's going on. Repeating on the other side, he's looking over there to where that crow's gonna be sitting on his shoulder. He has the white, the color of his eyes, and his black pupil with a little bit of light showing. Coloring this with my pencil so I know. He's got in between his eyes a triangle nose because he's a scarecrow. He was made by the farmer and patched together. It's a little chilly out, so his cheeks are rosy. And of course, he's smiling and happy. And some more stitch work. Down the middle. Now, he's wearing a hat, as we mentioned, and so using about one finger with, I'm gonna get that curve of the hat going behind the scarecrow. He's got kind of a little colored band on his hat, and the curve of the hat going one curve and down, the second curve and down. Out of his hat is a piece of straw, which is just a stick with some ovals on it. And before we get in all this detail down here, he needs some hair. So his hat, and if you've ever made a scarecrow, it's just used clothing from the farmer that they stuff with the hay or the straw to make him lifelike on a stick to scare the crows or the birds so they don't eat the crops. So I'm gonna use the hay or the straw that I did up here to make some hair. So it's a straight line, a couple straight lines of hair, couple straight lines of hair, and then I'm gonna make the little ovals on them. Okay, now my scarecrow's got some hair. He's got his hat. 
and let's work on his body. So his body is gonna be a little bit wider than his head and it's going all the way down and he has arms. So his arms are gonna be like little rectangles going down and in and then his shirt. So let's bring it down maybe two to three fingers, probably three fingers. Your fingers are probably a little bit smaller than me. And down for his body. Now over on the sides, if you want, you could add a cuff with a button. You can add some hay coming out like a zigzag line. His hands are just usually gloves of the farmers and they are gonna be like a curve for the thumbs up and then his fingers going out. just like us, four fingers. I make that look really easy. Fingers are hard. So you're just gonna think, okay, I've got one curve that's going out. One, two, three, four for the fingers. Just try your best. Now the scarecrow, you could have them in an all plaid shirt. Um, you could have him in overalls, coming up with his outfit. But remember, we said whatever clothes the farmer has, he's stuffing it with some hay. So I'm going to, just like I had that hay coming out, I'm going to use my zigzags and get some hay, kind of coming out of the top of his head. And I'm going to have overalls because Mrs. Samson loves overalls. And so the overalls are two straps that go over the shoulder and then some bibs on the front. So I know I'm gonna have my two straps coming down behind. And then there's a button holding those overalls up. We don't want them to fall down, that would be silly. It's kind of like a long rectangle and a button. So I've got my overalls and my shirt behind. And my shirt's gonna be plaid. So I'm gonna make some horizontal lines all the way across his body. If you don't want to do the checkered plaid for his shirt, you could do polka dots or just color it solid. I always add a lot of extra challenging details, but you can make it your own. I have his plaid shirt, I have his overalls, the straw hair, the straw in his neck, his hands, and his hat. Now I can get some detail on him. We mentioned a bird. Sometimes he's holding a tool like a rake, so I'll put that in his hand. Again, that's optional. So I'm just thinking of a long vertical line, and I'm gonna go all the way down. And a rake is used for raking leaves. Or in the desert, we rake our rocks, which I found silly, but we do. And there are these little fingers almost, it looks like, that combs the leaves and picks them up. Or here in the desert, our rocks. Now I'm gonna add that bird. The bird is an oval sitting on Mr. Scarecrow. Here's his little feet. He's got a nice long tail, feather, kind of coming out. He needs a head and a beak. Get that it looks like his head was smushed. Let's get that circle and his beak comes out and an eye. He says, I'm gonna get ya. And let's add some bird friends that say, Ooh, we want to come down and get some of those crops on our sunny day. But Mr. Scarecrow is gonna scare him away. So, what kind of crops are we gonna have? 
If we draw the ground, maybe we have some pumpkins starting from the middle with our oval. Top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. Maybe we have some corn. Someone has a corn stalk that's tall and skinny, kind of like the rake, but my corn stalk is gonna be green. And of course it's gonna have some corn. So I'm gonna make what looks like a little V, a oval, straight lines and horizontal lines for the corn. So that husk is holding on to the corn. I got a lot of details really quick on my artwork. For you, maybe you don't add all those details, it's up to you. When you're done drawing your scarecrow, you're gonna outline it in Sharpie and you can begin coloring. So to review, we had our paper folded in half on the horizontal line. We made a horizontal line. Then we made our U for our scarecrow's face. Then we got our hat. And then we started getting some details in his face. Those adorable eyes. Scarecrow knows that's stitched and patched on there. His rosy cheeks, his stitched face and eyebrows. And of course he's happy to see us. Then we did that hat. And I'm gonna add some patches on my hat. So I always just do a square with some little lines. That piece of hay or wheat. And then we added that straight line in those ovals for the straw hair. I love outlining it in a black marker because it really brings all those details to life. add something that I might have forgotten. Could also have little straw pieces kind of coming out of his shirt as well. And then we added his arms and his body. Cuffs on his sleeve. His thumb, that was a tough one. And the thumb goes up and then the four fingers go straight out. And these would be the farmer's gloves. You could even add, you know, a little patch on that if you wanted. And then we got to work on the fun details inside. I, of course, picked overalls because those are my favorite to wear hold the pants up with these fabulous buttons. I'm 
and then the shirt, you were able to decide whatever you wanted to do. If the checkered plaid pattern was too much of a challenge, you could leave it solid, or you could make polka dots or any kind of pattern you want. how he was going to be carrying a rake. And he had that crow that said, I know you're trying to scare me, but you can't get me. We're coming for those yummy crops, but hopefully the scarecrow keeps them away so we can have a harvest with these fabulous yummy pumpkins. It's the season for pumpkin pie and all those yummy things. I love to make pumpkin cookies. And of course, that corn that grows on a stalk. And instead of drawing every single corn kernel, we just do vertical lines and horizontal lines, kind of like the checkered pattern. ready to color. I can't wait to see what you create. So my first one I decided to color to paint. The second one today I'm going to color with crayons. Remember you can use anything you have at home. The more detail, the more color you add, the better your artwork looks. You can follow along with me or pause the video and create your own coloring break from TV. 